chill bits that time of year again where we look back at the last 12 months of uh, collecting Transformers and uh, decide which are our favourites. Like most of you guys do, uh, well you're going to do 15 of this year because it was 2015. I only do five. I always do a top five and this year is no different. Um, so without further ado, uh, here are my top five Transformers of 2015. At number five, it is Masterpiece Starscream, uh, the Hasbro uh, version of the MP11 mold that came out uh, in the summer uh, in the States and not over here, sadly. Well, I guess you can understand why um, in that uh, Toys R Us got rather uh, blown out with the uh, poor sales of Sunstorm, who is still uh, shelf forming Toys R Us's across the country. So we didn't get this guy. Um, so I had to pay a little bit more than I would have liked uh, in order to get him from the States. But he is really, really nice. I've been after a Masterpiece Starscream for some time. Um, and to get this guy for cheaper than the uh, rather expensive Takara version I was happy with. Uh, quality control is a lot better than Acid Storm and Sunstorm. So I was very pleased to finally get uh, him. So uh, yeah, he is my number five. Um, obviously... <laughs> The Seeker Mold has been around for years. Um, that's uh, Barbie Head in the corner there, in case you wonder what the hell's going on there. Um, this <laughs> mold has been around for years, um, but I still love it, and uh, he had to be in this list, really. Uh, number four is another Masterpiece figure, of course, Masterpiece Trax, um, who came out, uh, the, was it Autumn Time, something like that. Um, when I heard that Trax was going to be released as a Masterpiece figure, I was very, very happy. Um, he was my favourite Autobot car as a kid. The toy that is, not necessarily the character. I love the toy. Um, so I was very excited that he was coming out. Um, and I thought, that, you know, at the start of the year, always definitely, he could well be my top fans of the year. Um, having got hold, got him, he is great. He is a really nice figure. Um, but I just think he's not quite what I hoped for. Uh, I do really like him, but um, there are a couple of things that annoy me. Um, the big gap in his feet, his shoulders just, don't seem to, um, there's something about them that just don't quite look right. Um, he is great, but he's certainly not perfect. And that's why he's only number four and not number one. Um, but it was still nice to get him. Uh, one of my favorite mold of the Masterpiece cars is still the um, Prowl smokescreen mold. Um, and this guy doesn't quite match that, but uh, he's, he's decent enough, but uh, he's only number four. Number three is this beautiful, beautiful guy. Uh, Combiner Wars <clears throat> Leader Class Megatron with a DX9 upgrade. Pick this guy up um, with his upgrades um, early part of the year uh, for 70 quid, um, which I didn't think was too bad considering the uh, the um, figure on its own was 50. So with the upgrades, it just makes this guy amazing. I mean, without the upgrades, he's still a decent, decent enough figure, um, albeit with rather spindly legs. Uh, some people don't, prefer, don't like these upgraded feet that think make them look a bit too clumpy. I think it makes them look very chunky and very, very cool. I love the, the G1 uh, gun barrel on the back there, the extended gun. He, he just looks fantastic and he's uh, a great fun bot to play with. Um, really basic, um, basic, not really basic, but pretty basic transformation. It's not too stressful. My only niggle with this guy is his... Um, shoulder joints and uh, it would be nice if there could have been a ball joint and maybe sl uh, you know a centimetre or so higher just looks a little bit weird if you try and get him into some some other poses um but i really really like this guy this guy is really to be honest a masterpiece megatron because the actual masterpiece megatron is a steaming pile of shite um and i've owned that toy and it is horrendous so it's so nice to actually have an official hasbro uh, Megatron and that actually looks like Megatron and not some ridiculously yeah, well just awful <laughs> Masterpiece Megatron is terrible we might get a Megatron uh, Masterpiece Megatron one day but uh, for now this guy is the closest thing we're going to get scales really well with um, MP10 as well uh, just a very very nice figure and my number three of 2015 number two again I'm cheating because he's got upgrades but it is Combiner Wars Defensor um, with the perfect effect feet and hand upgrades. 
Um, this was the first Combiner Wars combiner that I completed uh, because he was actually available locally here where I live. Um, picked up all the individual bots from Argos. I have got Groove as well, but he's in the cabinet somewhere. Um, the Groove figure is pretty poor, to be honest, but the rest of them are amazing. I really love that each of the individual bots. So much fun. Uh, Defensor himself just looks fantastic. Uh, not quite so great with the actual arms, um, hands and feet that you get with this guy. Um, they're a little bit too small um, and limit his posability somewhat. But once you get these bad boys, um, it makes a massive difference. And it's just such a fun, fun toy. You know, combining him is not too stressful. It's not too problematic. And he's certainly um, my, well, one of my favourites <laughs> um, combiners from the Combiner Wars. I, I have completed Menasaur as well. Um, he is awaiting his uh, upgraded hands and feet. He might have made the list, sneaked in above Starscream, um, had I have got those, but at the moment he's still a little bit, uh, wants to fall over all the time and uh, couldn't quite get the li into the list, I'm afraid. And um, Superion, I haven't uh, completed yet, so he was never going to make the list. Um, but yes, my number two, uh, Defensor. And he just so happened to be my favourite Autobot combiner as a kid as well. So that was very, very nice to, to find how much fun this guy was. Just like being a kid again, collecting the limbs one by one. Great stuff. Awesome, awesome. Number guy. one. Well, it had to be this huge, huge... Huge, fantastically gorgeous monster of a toy. Um, Devastator, of course. Uh, Unite uh, Warriors Devastator as, a composed, as opposed to com uh, the Combiner Wars Devastator. Uh, I very nearly got the Combiner Wars version, the Hasbro one, um, but when I saw this guy was coming out and the improvements that they made and the fact it was only going to cost me about 20 quid more um, from Capel, I decided to wait all the way up till Christmas um, to get this guy, he arrived about three days before Christmas and uh, I opened him on Christmas Day and I was very, very happy. <laughs> he is so much fun. Um, he's, you know, all the individual bots are fantastic. They've got loads of play value. They're all easy to transform. There's no stress there. Um, he's easy to combine back and forth without really having to refer to anything. Um, he's just a great, great fun toy and he's absolutely Massive. I'm sure you all know how big this guy is, but if I just get Masterpiece tracks next to him, you can see <laughs> how big he is. Um, takes up um, two shelf spaces on my, in one of my um, dead off cabinets. So, yes, really pleased to get this guy. I didn't know whether I could really justify spending the money, but I'm glad I did <laughs> because he is just fantastic. So he is my number one. Um, number one transformer of the year. And here they are, all are together, just about to squeeze them into the into the shot. Um, yeah, a fantastic year um, for Transformers. Thanks for um, all of you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Um, I look forward to watching some of your other videos as well, seeing what you guys think um, were your favorite bots of the year. Um, really looking forward to 2016, the Titan Wars. Um, the end of the Combiner Wars stuff, loads of cool masterpiece figures uh, coming out, Shockwave in particular, so it's going to be another fantastic year. And uh, I'm sure I will continue doing my random YouTube waffly G1 reviews for another year, um, but we shall see. Okay, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you um, soon for some more uh, videos. Cheers, bye!